Yi Hang Wang, 9 years old, breaks Rubik's Cube world record solving it in an average time of just 4.69 seconds. There's two things that stand out here. First is the funny number, lol. Second, he's 9 years old. I mean, let's talk about this kid. Now first I'm gonna convince you guys just how crazy this is. Hope you're ready to get your mind blown. Secondly, I'm gonna call a world-class cuber to figure out what's so remarkable about Yi Hang solving. And lastly, I'm gonna show you guys the reconstructions of the solves that he did. And there I want you guys to remember that with all I'm explaining for each solve, he did all of that just in an average time of 4.69 seconds. Now, I do not know what you guys were doing at 9 years old, but I was playing with Play-Doh. Breaking world records wasn't part of it. And it's not just that this world record doesn't mean anything. There's thousands of competitive cubers. Some even have it as their job to cube each and every day. And this 9-year-old somehow found a way to beat everyone. What? Yi Hang is the embodiment of... No matter how good you are at something, there's always an Asian kid who's better than you. After practicing for nine years myself, I just can't understand. So that's why I decided to call someone else who's way better than me and hopefully he has an idea of how this is possible. Nine-year-old breaks the world record. What was your first reaction? I was completely amazed. Like, it's it's so fast. This is Twan Dulemont, a Dutch cuber who has recently been improving at an insane rate, which has currently ranked him 15th in the world. Let's hear what he has to say about Yi Hang. If you knew his name, then you knew, like, ah, oh, he's probably gonna beat it. Does it kind of scare you to see that? I mean, he, he's already passed me, really. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually went to Poland, and there was one at max. He was, he was four years old, and he got, like, sub-2, 2x2 two, two two averages, and was sub-10 on 3 by 3 Like, the, the age of top cubers is still going down. He probably does have something to do with the fact that a younger brain is better to create muscle memory or something. You looked at the solutions, right? Do you notice anything, like, remarkable comparing it to, like, the way you would solve most most Chinese cubers they have really simple fundamental based solutions for F2O cases and not really doing anything really experimental in like the the beginning stages of the solve. The most popular method to solve the Rubik's Cube and the method Yi Hang uses is called CFOP. It stands for cross, first two layers, orientation of last layer, and permutation of the last layer. Now there are advanced techniques where you combine OLL and PLLE one step, for example, or where you would solve the cross and a part of F2L simultaneously, which is called an X cross, but it seems like a lot of Chinese cubers just go with the basic steps of CFOP, but just turn really, really fast. Yi Hang is a bit different with that. He, he actually X crosses, uh, does X crosses quite uniquely and finds them very effectively. And what I heard from Yi Hang's souls is that they analyzed one of his souls that he only passed for like six frames or something like that. That. So that's like 0.2 seconds. He has pretty small hands. Like, how is he yeah. able to turn so fast with small hands? It, it looks very different as well, right? I'm I'm really impressed with uh, the TPS that he has in even like for the X crosses, because typically with my solves, you'll see that when I'm doing my X cross or something, I'm turning just a bit slower than I would do during the F12 stages. But he, he doesn't really seem to be uh, affected by that. One skill of a cuber is being color neutral. Now, if you're color neutral, you can start your solve on any cross color. That gives you six possible choices for each scramble, and usually this leads to better solutions. Surprisingly though, Yi Hang isn't color neutral. He almost exclusively does white crosses. A lot of the top cubers aren't really pushing color neutral as much as, uh, as in the past. And also these Chinese cubers coming up with basically only doing white, it really seems like the, the meta is switch shifting a little bit. So Yi Hang can combine creative solutions whilst keeping his TPS high, as you can see in his first solve of the average. I think we need to take a better look at that. So let's go over all the scrambles Yi Hang got and explain how he solved them. So the first scramble you can see on the screen right now. By the way, I'm using the same cube as he did. This is the GAN 12M Maglev, just so you know. So Yi Hang, as I said before, normally does white crosses. Now. This white cross isn't ideal because you have no edges ready-made or anything. And Yi Hang saw this block probably on yellow and he decides to go yellow for this solution. The way he does it, he works with this corner right here and this edge. So just try to keep track of those two. He does a solution from this angle and he notices that if he does a U to start off, he can actually insert this edge in the right position right away. But before doing this, you actually need to align the first cross piece to the opposite color, right? So then you can do it. So these two are solved correctly to each other as well as this first piece of the X cross. Now to do the X cross, you cannot just align the third piece like this, but you actually need to do a U prime and then insert it. So you actually preserve this corner right here. If you then just finish up the cross by doing D, 
inserting the last cross piece and aligning the cross again. You have an X cross as well as a preserved first, or should I say second pair. He probably saw this during inspection and he goes to solving that right away. He actually decided to work with this corner and this edge piece. And then he pairs them up into the back, solves them in the right slot right away, which leaves them with these two for the last case. He rotates, does it on the left side, which gives him this OLL and a wiper. Not a great last clear, but it doesn't matter because the guy turns like crazy. How crazy you may ask? Well, the solve was executed at 12.4 turns per second to be exact, which resulted in a 4.35 second solve. And by the way, big thanks to Stewie and SpeedCubeDB for the reconstructions I'm using for this video. So let's get straight to the second solve. When you're so good, you scare yourself. Now the second solve is his fastest of the average. So I'm really excited to actually take a look at this one. This time Yang does white cross. I don't notice anything particularly good about this scramble, but looking at Yang's solution, he probably did manipulate the cross solution to set up a better first pair. Because the way he solves it was first inserting these two cross pieces next to each other. Now, the easiest way would be to just do a D2 and insert the last cross pieces like so. But he didn't do it that way. He first made the third cross piece like so. Did a U and then basically sledging the last cross piece in like so. And then finally aligning the cross. The, uh, the reason he did that was because of the first pair right now. He made it into a three move insert, which he inserted right away. Now, after his first pair, he goes straight into the second pair, which probably shows that he inspected this pair, but his look ahead is just insane, so he might as well just use this look ahead. I don't know, I wish I could talk to the guy, but I can't. <laughs> Third pair is also a three mover, so that's really convenient. Now for these last two F12 pieces, you can rotate and just do two sexy moves, but he didn't do that. Instead, he did a sledgehammer into another sledgehammer which actually gave an OLL skip. He probably planned this OLL skip as well, and he goes straight into PLL by doing a U, PLL, and a U prime. So over 11 turns per second done in 3.9 seconds. Now, after doing two amazing souls, the third one is so important. And he does deliver. Now for the third scramble, Yi Hang does another X cross. This is a 13 move X cross. Now this X cross is kind of interesting because it's almost a cross minus one as you will see in a second. So he aligns the blue right here. Now then before inserting the next two cross pieces, which are these two, he does a U. And the way, and the reason he does it is because if he does this and basically solve the cross minus one, he can insert this pair into the back which leaves him with just the last cross piece to be inserted. But he doesn't just do this. He actually puts it this side and then inserts it. And the reason he does that is because right now you have another three mover. And I think the beautiful thing about Yi Hang solving is the way he can actually inspect these straightforward things that are yet so effective and most people probably would miss out on. Uh, next up, he does this corner with this edge, just making a pair and inserting that into the back. Now for the last pair, he does something pretty interesting because normally when you have this case, you would pair them up like this, these two pieces, and then insert it. If you do it this way, you actually get a cross on top. In this case, is a soon, which is really fast, but he doesn't do that. Uh, the way he pairs them up is by making a pair right here, then inserting them, which gives it this OLL, which is not bad, but I just thought it was interesting that he doesn't orient edges. But anyways... Uh, OLL goes like this. This is one of the fastest TPS PLLs. It's pretty long, but so fast. Once again, 12 turns per second. Lastly, even over 14 turns per second, resulting in a 4.41. Now, this is the fourth scramble and the record-breaking scramble because after his fourth solve, he got the world record of 4.69 seconds. So once again, he does white and he notices this bar right here. After analyzing a few cells of Yi Hang, I noticed that whenever he has an X cross opportunity, he will always grab it. The way he does it for this is he first solves these two cross pieces into the back, like so. So basically now these two are solved into the back. After that, he's gonna do this cross piece. But before inserting that, he moves this block out of the way and then inserts it. Now you could just insert the last cross piece like so, but that wouldn't make an X cross. So instead he does an R first, which brings this edge piece right here. And if you then insert the last cross piece and align it, you have an X cross into the back. Now he solves this pair right here onto the left. Just like that. Then this convenient pair straight into the back, which just leaves him with this last F12 pair. Now, guys, he apparently did a mistake because he started doing this 
and then he undid that. This kind of shows that he could have been faster, but he turned so fast that he probably didn't matter anyways. He goes into solving the OLL right after that. Now for this A perm, he does something interesting as well. Now normally I would do a U, do the A perm, then another U. Instead he did a U2 to start off, and then just from this side doing an alternative algorithm which leaves him with no AUF. So the last counting solve of the average was 5.31 seconds, done at 9.6 turns per second, which might prove he's human after all, since the first three good times probably made him turn slower for the fourth solve. Now, I'm not gonna discuss the last scramble because it was the slowest time of the average, so it doesn't count. So I don't think it adds anything to this analysis. I think overall, Yi Heng is, is just a, is an extremely well-balanced cuber. I mean, he's, he already got the world record, so it will be really exciting to see like if the world championships will, will, will favor him. Because that's a big thing. That's where color neutral and you know white only really makes a difference. If the scrambles are really good for white, then it might probably, it will probably favor someone like Yi Heng. We, we see Yi Heng as someone really fast right now, like way ahead of the game. But I think other top cubers will, will catch up to that. Maybe the top cubers will even learn from him and once they actually start applying techniques they see that help that works with Yi Hang. We just raised the bar of cubing. Maybe World Championships, you can win. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'll try my best. I have a question for you. When do you think the world record single will be broken? Because a lot of people have threes nowadays. Yi Hang has a world record average, but the world record single of 3.47 seconds is still from Yu Sheng Du. It will definitely happen this year. Like I'm pretty confident that it will happen this year. Um, and maybe faster than we think. Maybe next week Yi Hang will have another competition. It will just break it. But I would say, yeah. real realistically speaking, you know what? Let's say it will happen at the world championships. Let's say it will happen over there. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah.